Bandwidth for this podcast is brought to you by CashFly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. Play artist, right on dynamite. <laughs> Playing artist, right on dynamite. It's so- MP3 music search, only on Ford, Lincoln, and Mercury vehicles. Sync, say the word. Okay, I'm here at Armor Auto, and you're probably wondering how, why I'm at Armor Auto for a Mac show. Well, here's the thing: is that these guys have this great VI monitor, and this is this is not an iPhone, and we wish it was, and I'll talk about that in a second. But but check this out: this is a little interface. It turns out that in 1996, 1997, the interface was kind of standardized among most cars that are being released, and what that means is that uh, there's just a couple wires to, to to hook into the diagnostics on most of your cars, and you can actually have this interface give you all kinds of information. You can get stuff like performance test. This one covers like a quarter mile acceleration, braking, and power. Uh, you know, you can have, uh, you know, RPM, speed, G-force. Uh, you know, you can, you can look at the fault codes. You can look at all these other things. And, and, and this little interface will give you all these extra bits of information about your car, about what's actually going on for those who are a little geeky. Now, the reason, once again, that I wanted to show this is because I think that the next step for, for hardware like this is going to be putting this kind of stuff on an iPhone, being able to have the interface where you have a little wire coming out, it's hooking into a little interface, popping into your iPhone, you've got a great interface. If you can't wait, um, this thing is going to be coming out in the United States, probably three or four hundred dollars. Uh, so if you can't wait for the iPhone version, it's pretty cool on its own. Uh, but uh, but it, but I think that we're going to see more and more stuff like this ending up on things like the iPhone or the iSlate or whatever they want to call it.